Hey guys, this is CTG once again, bringing you the co-op mutation. It is still Charnel House on Minor Evacuation. I am playing as Zagara, and my ally Aaron is playing as Abathur. Again, uh, we are doing a different combination because Stukov and Karax are taking up uh, most of the replay, so we're mixing it up in order to provide something more interesting. This is once again a replay, not live. So thanks again to Hunter for recording both of these videos. Uh, and Aaron of course for playing with me. He also has his video uploaded and I will link that below if I remember. <laughs> Please do remind me if I do forget. Anyway, I start with the gas at uh, 10 supply. Or something, yeah, something like that, and then I start a spawning pool right after. So the strategy will be to carry out of the game a Zagara, uh, one of uh, Abathur's weaknesses is his early game. He does not have a lot of strength early on, but in the later game, he's actually quite strong. So we're gonna do a one two punch here. I'm gonna be the one punch. Zagara is quite strong in the early game with Zagara and her powerful Zerglings and Banelings. And once we roll out in the early or the late game, rather, uh, Abathur with his fed with his fed queens and his uh, I think he'll go for Mulisks this game and the ultimate evolutions, the Brutalisks and the Leviathans will take over and carry us home to victory. We hope. So again, I rushed out the bailing nest as soon as I can. Since the spawn bailings, the free bailings are uh, cooldown based, so the earlier I get it, the more free bailings I earn. I also start a fast evolution chamber just so I can get some upgrades out. That's done. So I don't actually have enough yet. Yeah, now I do for heroic fortitude. That is to make Zagara last slightly longer. Looks like Aaron has figured out the backdoor strategy to get to the high ground without encountering defenses, and that is all very nice for us. Queen is out, inject, and then up or evolve to hive or lair rather. I think we're still lair. So the first ship's gonna launch a bit soon, and. Zagara is out. We're gonna have her uh, clear out the early part of the game. There we go. So I use a bailing barrage and spawn hunter killers. And you can see I pulled Zagara back in order to delay uh, the time when she gets. Well, she will inevitably get inevitably get uh, affected by plague, and I just pull her back. Uh, as as long as I can. There we go, just using just using her abilities from far away in order to keep her untainted. There we go. Oh, that marine. Ooh. Clean up. Oh, there we go. Yeah, now she is infected. That's fine. I managed to keep her relatively clean for a while. Clear out that Nidus in order to prevent the enemy from spawning. And we're gonna get our hive quite early while getting the uh, the AoE or the area damage for Zagara. Yeah yeah, doing it. So yeah, I'm still getting those free bailings. Very nice for us. So Zagar or Abathur rather is already making queens to help uh, with the damage output as well as transfusing Zagara to keep her alive for as long as they can. Of course she will eventually go down since the Yeah, 
yeah. The damage from a Black Death is based on the unit's uh, maximum health and And that means the more, uh, the higher the full health of a unit is, the faster or the more HP they lose per second. Oh, uh, those buildings are actually damaging my my uh, hatchery. Uh, looks like my allies on it though. Yeah, very. It's very nice to have uh, a skilled ally, and of course. Having a skilled ally is one thing, it's very nice, but even more nice is when you actually talk with your ally. They don't, they don't necessarily need to be the best player ever, but as long as you work out a strategy, it's a lot better. I would have to say that working out a strategy with an ally... I have to say that uh, being able to communicate with an ally, working out a strategy, is preferable to just having a really skilled player. Unless that skilled player in question can solo the game for you, and then in that case, it's completely fine. But anyway, we're gonna work on saturating our expansion. We got it nice and early. So, yeah, uh, gas and then the minerals. So, uh, when the early or when the early game completes, we're gonna uh, do base defense with bio launchers and spy spine and spores. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh, we actually need to defend. Well, yeah, we got we got to those roaches. So, ah, uh, Zagara is once again. Yeah, Zagara has once again caught the plague. That is fine, she will respawn, and even before that, she will, it will take a bit of time before she does run out of health. Once again, we're not going to go for the bonuses game, since we are not using the best commanders. We're just uh, doing this for variety. Uh, although it's a bit ironic for me, uh, especially since I've already done Stukov and Kerrigan, both deserve commanders, so. I will not be doing a Terran or a Protoss commander this week, just because uh, other people for sure will do them. A lot of people like Vorzun, Carax is really strong for this game. A lot of people love Artanis because he's really easy to play compared to the other commanders. Terran, uh, Raynor is actually very good for this mutation. Swan also can do a similar style to Carax. Nova is uh, Nova's already actually featured in one of my videos, so yeah. The only ones to feature left are the Zerg Commanders, and that is what I am doing. I just hope I do a good job <laughs> and not fall flat on my face. Looks like uh, we're doing a good job so far. We've already cleared out the second, uh, the second uh, ship area, so we're just waiting to uh, we wait for an opportune time to launch it. Looks like my ally is going to start the launch sequence by putting a queen over there. That is fine. We still have resources to spare. For Zerglings. I dropped down the roaches. Just before Zagara dies. And yeah, I did actually notice that her health was going down. And that's why I just dropped the roaches straight away. And I researched the, uh, what is it called, adrenal glands for the zergling uh, attack speed. Get some more spine crawlers to defend the entrance since uh, the next attack wave or the second attack wave that goes for our base will head for the north entrance to our expansion. I pinged this overlord since, uh, if you notice in my other game, I pulled it back to a little corner of the map, and I'm also doing that right now. Not sure if my ally wants to do the same, but yeah, I already have four spine crawlers here, that should help out a lot. Here's the enemy attack wave. 
I start a bio launcher. And we have a bunch of uh, hydralisks there. And the nice thing about Abathur is that even though he's not here, even though Abathur is not here, he's still uh, providing those free locusts that distract the uh, the enemy and allow our spine crawlers to pick away. Pick away continuously at uh, the enemy forces. So I start uh, attack upgrade since I'm not. There's really no point trying to keep your force alive with Sigara. So, yeah, no point trying to go for uh, the armor upgrades or at least prioritizing armor upgrades over attack upgrades. So the the next ship appears on the mini map. If you can see the little yellow dot. Yeah, we'll just, we'll just clear the section out, and then allow our ally to get over here. Nope, no can do, lady. Yeah, that's a spirit. You're. <laughs> you guys are leaving anyway. There's no point trying to kill things here when you're leaving the plant to it. So my ally is starting uh, Toxic Nests there, just to provide creep for us. And... Mm, should I pull the trigger and make a bunch of units? Mm, yeah, Zigara's or Abathur's Queens are really good. They managed to keep a bunch of my Zerglings alive for a while. <laughs> for a while. They also managed to keep. They also managed to keep Zagara alive for now. But yeah, she will inevitably fall. Here comes the attack wave. Mainlings. So I inject these hatcheries, and I produce some more drones. Rip units and rip Zagara. Pull some more drones to make some more static defense. We're gonna make our spine forest stout and sturdy. Oh, that's an that's a viper. The enemy is ground based Zerg, and that's. And that means that going Vipers is actually a solid strategy with their disabling clouds. Since they will force the graduates to spread around and uh if the eradicators re enter the facility, you won't be able to reach them. You gotta move it if you wanna hit them. Yeah, spread out and uh force themselves out of position while my uh static defense and Abathur's Queens continuously peck away at them. So far, so good for our defenses. And we have Queens doing mass transfuse, which is always great. Always great, unless you're Amon, of course. But, yeah, we're not Amon, so it's great for us. So I start making a line of uh, bio launchers here. Oh, some Queens. Some Queens falling. I would say that that's probably more due to the. Uh, the enemy forces than the plague itself. I guess it's some of both. I dropped the roaches once again. Ooh, next ship is pretty far. Yeah, far. Anyway, the next ship will get by unscathed. We'll do our best, madam. Uh, uh oh, looks like the uh, the attack wave is starting to get closer to that ship. So, uh, actually, to make more units, yeah, uh, start creating some zerglings and run them over to uh, the attack wave. Yeah, we'll try to intercept that. We don't want to lose any ships before we even get a chance to defend it. That's obviously not ideal. Start a bio launcher here, and as you can see, I have all my bio launchers on control group three. The 
They'll destroy it in no time. Do Ooh, not let that happen. That's a nice that's a nice disabling cloud. Disables all of those roaches. <laughs> Great job, my ally. Don't worry, it's just, it's just a single rock in space. No one really cares about uh, some random planet. Now, it looks like we're actually doing a good job of cleaning this area without without me. <laughs> so, I pull in a bunch of drones here. Rip Zagara. Anyway. Yeah, I pull a bunch of drones and create a layer of spine crawlers or three defend what yeah I just I just shift clicked my uh, my drones over there so that they won't dip around and yeah the beauty of having all these bylaws in the single control group is that you can just uh, use rapid fire and it doesn't matter where they are the nearest one will always shoot uh, the nearest one will always shoot first and uh, they'll keep shooting as long as there's one in range, so it doesn't matter uh, if you have, uh, or if you're in one corner of the map or in the middle of, or another corner of the map, as long as a bio launcher is in range and you rapid fire, it will it will launch and defend for you. Let's make some more units. Yeah, it's a lot of bio launchers now. I think we're pretty good so far. All right, it's fine. That's absolutely fine. Oh, here comes the attack wave. Let's use some bio launchers. Bio launchers. Let's help out our spine crawlers. There we go. Yeah, stinging them out. Yeah. This is working out even better than they thought. <laughs> is a guard just chilling by her, ha her hive? And I still have the roach drop ready to go in case we need it. Oh, where? Yeah, let them come. I think we're pretty good. And let the rapid fire bile rain begin. <laughs> That's a disgusting sound though. <laughs> Couldn't they make a frightening sound, like an explosion sound, without necessarily making it sound li like someone pooping? <laughs> well, I guess it doesn't sound like that. It sounds a bit more like a puking. <laughs> Not sure if that's any better. But yeah, we're just reading down the bile so far, and I'll try to make it uh, friendly for those who are having lunch as they watch this video. <laughs> Sorry if I offended you or anything. <laughs> yeah, we're just rapid firing bile launchers. Bam, bam, bam. <laughs> the, nice, the, the nice thing about this is that it's actually increasing my APM. Even though, even though I'm literally holding down a single button, it'll the game will interpret me as doing a whole lot of things. <laughs> yeah, I'm just rapid firing these bio launchers. Uh oh, that's a far away ship. It's really far. Separate ally, defend. There we go. Uh, how do we get to the other ship? It's on the other, it's all the way on, on the other side of the map. Yeah, there it is. Uh, we need to make a bunch of units. Oh wow! Uh, they didn't give us a whole lot of time to react. Oh, did we clear it? Nice. Very nice. Oh, banshees though. Uh, does my ally have detection? Uh oh. Uh, let's drop some spine crawlers there and hope that our uh, our zerglings can distract long enough. 
Uh, it's not looking good. We we need some. Where is our ally though? Uh, he's supposed to have enough queens by now, but does he miss uh, detection or something? Oh, he's over there defending that wave. There's no need to do that. I already have side defense in place. Uh oh. Uh, <laughs> I have Scourge, but can't see anything. Our have ah! Get something! No! How is that even? <laughs> we didn't even have enough time to react! Uh oh. Uh oh. Yeah, we better defend that ship. <laughs> I wonder if an ally realizes that uh, we're on the last ship. Oh, we actually just need to finish that one and we're home free. <laughs> no, your army needs to be over on the other side. I have enough static defense on this side. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm sending some units over here, and I'm, I'm trying to rush out some uh, some static defense. Oh, here comes my allies' force. Here comes my allies' army at last. Oh boy. Oh boy. Let's drop the roaches immediately. Yeah, this is just to augment the firepower. And I really hope you have enough. You have some static defense going up, but you can see those green eggs surrounding the ship. And the mutes are gonna spawn out of those, so yeah, we need we just have units all around these to defend. Well my ally is trying to fend off uh, the enemies that spawn further out. I really hope you have enough. <laughs> Rushing out some Scourge for air units and bringing some Zerglings, if anything, just to uh, to block the enemy from getting through. We're just in full stall mode at this point. It was going really well for the first four ships, but sort of uh, weren't able to scramble fast enough to the last locations. Getting a bit hairy at this point. That's not a good sound. Those are the sound of Abathur's Queens falling. Hang on! Oh, we won! Wow! That worked! Well, I hope you enjoyed that. Thank you for watching. If you have a suggestion for what else you can do, please leave that in a comment. And let's see these scores green. Very zergy week this week, but that is fine. Gonna be XP. On the North American server. The stats. There we go. Yeah, got, got a lot more. <laughs> Alright, see you.